How's it going folks? Uh, in this video I'll be showing you guys what I've been working on for the last few days. Uh, it's basically going to be a texture painting application using Oculus and Leap Motion. So what you'll be able to do is get your model exported as an object file, then import that into this, and then you'll be able to draw your textures on it, save them out, and then yeah, apply them in whatever you want. So, let's get started. We'll just hit play here. We'll see that it's loaded in the model of the battleship from Battleships VR. So, you see our hand here. Now, right now, it doesn't really do anything because the ship's too far away. So, we need to use gestures to move and rotate it. So, if you want to move it, we just grab it. We'll just make a grab gesture and we move it to wherever we want. So we'll just move it to here for now. Um, if you want to rotate, put the thumb in and rotate in the direction that we want it to go. That way, that way, that way, etc. Um, let's bring it closer. Bring it back. Let's rotate it there. We want it. Uh, and then for scale, Thumb out, scale X, back and forward, Y, up and down, Z, forward and back. Alright, so now, the actual painting part. Give me one thing. Let's rotate this back, get it in a nice position. Alright, so at the moment we've only got one colour to use, that's blue. So, what we can do is close these fingers here, we'll see where the texture is going to get painted. We close the thumb and we'll start drawing. So let's just draw whatever. I am very terrible at this, so excuse my terrible drawing. And yeah, it'll basically draw where your f index finger is pointing. So we'll put a hello there. We'll do a nice something on the top. We'll colour in this mask, because why not? Go back a bit. Oh, there we are. I'll do the top as well. Move it around a bit. Just do a line. Just whatever. You have to watch out, because with the rift on it can get hard to s tell how far to the sides your hand is so if you go too far you just lose it and who knows what could happen alright now also with this if I want to reset any of the scale or position or anything we put out two fingers after one second it resets the scale after two it'll do the rotation then after three it will reset the position back to the origin alright so now we've got our shiny new UV with blue squares everywhere. We hit spacebar which will save it out and also bring up the Oculus menu. And alright, so if we turn that off, go into our folder here, we'll see testpick.png which is the UV map that we've just created. There's that, go back into Unity. It's shown up there now. I don't know why, but you have to actually select it in Windows for some reason. But I'll work around that. So now if we play this, hit the boat, we can attach the material to it, and everything that we've done is now in a proper UV. And, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to build this into something more awesome with proper colors and brush types and all that sort of stuff and make texturing models fun. Let's catch later.